these is the tech essentials that you need to bring when you're going traveling or as a student as a college student, especially in the multimedia program. What's in my tech bag? Tech Essentials, iPad Pro versus Mac Book Pro. I'll have all the chapter markers linked up. This is my sister. Hello. And I'll have all the affiliate things linked in the video description. And she's gonna talk to us about what she has in her. What's in my bag? I'm a little bit more of a minimalist than my brother, so. Maxed out. Apple Silicon MacBook Pro. And then I have Audio Technica wireless earbuds, Apple AirPods, plug-in headphones, which are all lightning, and then I have the lightning adapter because you never know when you might need one of these, and then I have a mini tripod. It's a stand for a phone, and then it clips, and then you can stick the phone in. It's wallet size, so it fits in your wallet, and then Melanie's loop for another Apple Watch band, and then iPhone, and then my brother's old iPad for the plane flight, and then all of the cords and cables go in here with the charger bricks. So I have a USB-C to lightning cord that's Belkin. I have an Apple, a C to C. I have a USB-A to mini B, three Apple five watt charging bricks, and then I have a Apple Watch charger. With a stand on it, it's Belkin. And then 30 watt and an 18 watt chargers, both Apple. Both USB-C. And then I have a battery for the plane, just in case I start wanting low on power. And then I'm going old fashioned, the noise canceling, earmuffs. And a water bottle, because you're supposed to keep hydrated. And then laptop case and i don't have the blanket in the video but these are crochet hooks and i'm currently crocheting a blanket now moving on to the ipad ipad pro and ipad only user version so we have my new ipad pro in the apple magic keyboard case i really like this I have a full tech bag that I have a link in the video description to check those out and link in the video description or up in the cards. And so I have in here for warning, these things are expensive. So if you want, skip to this timestamp to move to the more budget friendly alternatives and options. But these are amazing if you're interested. I have a pair of Sennheiser IE800s, which are amazing. I have a video linked in the video description. I have a pair of Clips 6 eyes, which I'm not generally a huge wired headphones person, but these are so amazing that it's like being in a concert when you put them in and they both have really amazing noise isolation, better than my active noise canceling AirPods Pro, which is astounding. And that's before even using something like these over top of them, which then gives you amazing noise isolation, especially when you're on an airplane for eight hours or something like that. Or going to school. And then Audio-Technica ATH M50X BTs. BT stands for Bluetooth headphones. They're audio file quality. They really punch way ahead of their price class. They're only $200 and they have the sound quality of a thousand dollar pair of headphones in my opinion and they're very durable and last a long time the audio technica headphones are a standard in the industry for a reason as a multimedia student then of course airpods 2 with wireless charging case i actually use these more than i generally use my airpods pro i really like these these are great and amazing and spectacular and very accessibility friendly both these are and great for ipad productivity because they have amazing dictation and microphones and things like that and then my favorite ssd this is thunderbolt 3 and thunderbolt 4 it's the lissy rugged Pro SSD. This is the two terabyte variant. It's IP67 dust and water resistant and has great warranty and it's amazing. And then of course, really pretty SSD. The Samsung ones have much wider support. Not that the Lisi ones ever have an issue. If you ever have an issue, most tech support people have heard of Samsung. I like both of them, but this one's definitely more durable and but this one's the one you would want to be seen in the coffee shop with. This one's the one you would take off into a a studio or on your like trip to the Masonian or wherever you are. And then wireless charging battery pack for Qi charging. It has USB-C PD charging and USB-A. iPhone with moment case on it and lens and front cover, which also handily enough works well. If you're on the airplane, you can prop it up and have it be like a makeshift tripod stand, which is amazing. So top tip, Apple Magic Mouse and trackpad. These are great for productivity, setting up your mobile iPad Pro desk setup. Like, yeah, guys.
And then Thunderbolt cable. This is the one meter one. I have the two meter one in my bag, which is amazing because the new iPad Pros have Thunderbolt in them. So you can connect to Thunderbolt accessories, which is amazing. And then charge brick, 87 watt charge brick, and then the 30 watt charge brick. You could charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro or something like that, or bifurcate it into two or smaller charges or just charge something really quickly. Then this is really helpful. It's a USB-C to HDMI 2.0 one cable so you can plug it into like if you're at a hotel or something you can plug it into one of their tvs and stream right into their tv off your ipad and not have to worry about it or it also would work well for any USB-C macbook pro pretty much all the accessories here would all work amazingly for the macbook pro and then hero clip this is really cool it allows you to hang your bag up if you don't want it touching the ground somewhere you can hang it up and have your bag hang right here and it's very durable and then this is amazing you could have a full mobile router. I'll have a link in the video description with a video on it. And it's RAV Power File Hub Plus. It's a mobile router and file hub. So it allows you to transfer wirelessly and connect to your iPad Pro or iPhone or MacBook Pro or things like that and have a secured wireless network because most hotels or places have terrible Wi-Fi, guys. It's like astounding. It's like, ah. But yeah, a lot of times they'll have Ethernet and so you can plug right into that. Or you can expand the range or make a mesh network between devices. Or put a card of movies in here and you can stream it to your phone or whatever device you want over Wi-Fi for when you're on the airplane or something. Even though technically you might not technically supposed to be doing that. But they offer Wi-Fi into most airplanes now. So, And then shotgun microphone and TRS and TRRS adapter cables. And then Uni Digi phone mount for your iPhone has cold shoes on the top and quarter 20s and gives you much more steady pictures on vacation or traveling or doing Zoom and setting up an iPad Pro desk setup or a Mac desk setup or an iOS user desk setup. And then battery pack. This is amazing. I really like this one, but this one's not the one you take around when you're walking around places. This one's kind of heavy, but it has a display on it to display the power percentage and exact percentage. And it has full speed USB-A ports for full power. And then you have a PD, actual PD charging to charge like or a 16 inch MacBook Pro, an Apple Silicon Mac or iPad Pro or more than one device. And it has fast Qi charging and you can do all of them at once. And you can charge your iPad Pro a couple times over. And then I use the Grill Pod 5K because then I can put a lot of weight into it and I don't have to worry about it. And because if you're going to put your iPad Pro on here, so you want to make sure it's protected or just for your iPhone. And then I have a Joby mount on the top. I have linked in the video description my review of that. And then Chiffon Multi USB cable. This is amazing. And this is a suggestion from Dave2D. It has all the different cables mini USB, micro USB, USB type C, lightning, USB A. It covers all your charging needs pretty much. It's bummer it doesn't do data, but it's really inexpensive and budget friendly. It's two terabyte T7 SSD is great. It's fast, it's MDMA PCIe. It's predominantly for editing off my iPhone, but it can work on all the devices. It's a low power SSD. The main key distinguisher between these two amazing SSDs and this one, which is also amazing, but just differently. This one's also a lot more budget friendly than these two. These are extremely expensive, but if you use them a lot or you value your data or time but this one is low power, so you can edit directly off your iPhone. You can take photos or videos and directly edit off of it using something like this, which is Apple's camera connection kit adapter. It's a bummer that it's USB-A. That's why I have a USB-A to C cable, so I can have the C into there and then USB-A. It would be nice if they came out with a C variant, but. And then Apple Watch charger, USB-C, stainless steel one. The stainless steel one, so that you can feel it in your bag, it's much easier to find because it's generally always cold. And then Rode Lightning Me L. It's a excellent shotgun microphone and then collapsible straw because environmentally friendliness is important. And then lightning to headphone jack adapter, just in case you want to plug in your audio interface into your iPhone so you can build the ultimate iPhone Zoom desk setup or something like that when you're on traveling. And then screen cleaner because you never know when you're going to need to clean your screen, especially when you touch screen and you always get it dirty. It's like, ugh. And then all of my cards and things like that. I generally don't really carry a wallet. So this is kind of like a ultra minimalist wallet. It's just a New Seasons gift card thing. And I have all my cards in here. It has all my cards and things like that. And then underneath that, I have another bag, which just has 
microfiber cloth because microfiber cloth, guys, you have to keep everything clean. And then this is amazing. This is my all time favorite dongle slash adapter. It's the Intec dongle. It has HDMI, VGA, Ethernet, USB-C, and this one has the USB-C split into data and power. So you can power things like the Focusrite 2i2 audio interface or other things like that. And then you can still have it plugged in so you and it has a surprisingly high throughput. And then it has an UHS-2 certified micro and regular SD card reader, which is amazing. For this price, just that SD card reader is worth the price. So you should pick this up. And then a BC 1.2 USB-A port, and then another USB-A port. These are 3.0 ports, and then USB-C, and it's a USB-C dongle. It's my favorite. The only thing that beats this in dongleage is my HP Z31X, but that's like a full cinema display monitor that's professional and really expensive. So this is amazing. It's spectacular. Okay, so Aperture Fleur FL. It's a mobile light. It has really good output so you can have daylight and Kelvin temperatures and it goes up really slowly up and down and it can be powered over USB-C. That's one of the reasons why I carry this big battery bank because I can power it over USB-C and it has a really good CRI. And if you know what that is, then you know that's important if for a video maker or film photographer or things like that. And especially when you're going to meet relatives and you want to take good photos, lighting is important. So Apple Pencil is important. You kind of need that for your iPad. Water bottle. If you get a glass water bottle, it can double as a thermos because you can put hot liquids in it and you won't melt plastic. I really like Life Factory. I have the Moment case right here, two other lenses. That way you can have three lenses to choose from. I generally carry a full set when I'm going traveling, but these is the tech essentials that you need to bring when you're going traveling or as a student, as a college student, especially in the multimedia program. And then down here, I have a gimbal. It's holding up the microphone. This is the Rode Pod mic. And then I have a microphone stand attached to it. And then I have the DJI Osmo mobile gimbal. It's really amazing. It holds up my phone. It can do pan and tracking just like on the new iPad Pros, but for your iPhone. And so it's really helpful when you're going on those trips and you want to have that extra smooth footage. And then we have this, which is my favorite mobile Qi charger. It has dual pads. It can do full Qi speed and it collapses down really compact. And then you have a stand to hold up your phone and it can hold up a pretty heavy phone, even with a moment lens and all those things. And it's USB-C, so it's amazing. And it has a magnet on the back, so you're not going to lose it. Of course, first aid kit. It says CPR, but I have a CPR thing in here, but that's not really the thing. I have like band-aids and all those essentials that when you're going places, you're going to need like ibuprofen or antisemitism, just individual packets of it. So that way you don't get flagged by TSA being like, what's in this bag? And it, because all the different things are labeled. And so it's not liquid, so it doesn't have to count towards your liquid allowment. And then small... Thunderbolt cable. So if you're on a tray table working on a video or something like that, or a photo on the airplane, you can have a short cable connecting it. You don't need to have one of these long cables. So it can just be like on the side. And we both have Apple Watches. And so those can work as your pass to get on the airplane. All you have to do is double tap your crown and it'll bring up your pass. My sister is going on JetBlue, so that's why she has her pass on there. It'll also be on your phone. It'll also be in your wallet, but it's handy just to have that. So you can just like have them either scan or tap your watch against the thing. And so you don't have to have a physical piece of paper that worry about losing it and all those things and be like, Arr! what is your favorite tech accessory? Or what is a tip that you wish you knew that you would tell somebody else? Don't forget to like, share, like if you liked it because it really does help. If you liked this, check out one of these videos.